That's a great initial observation. I now want to challenge each of you to come up with one original new observation about these rocks. And I'm going to give you a minute and a half to explore around this area, check out the rocks, and come up with one observation. Doesn't mean you have to figure out everything that ha can be figured out about these rocks, just one independent observation. And in a minute and a half, I'm going to call you together. We're going to meet over there. We're going to discuss the implications of your findings. OK? Go. Okay. All right, well, you can see that it looks really different from the local rocks, right? And yeah, this is this what most of the local angular. rocks look like. And They're this not is, mature this... looking. This one does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one's rounded. It, what color is it? Sort of, sort of like, it's got to be like a coarse sandstone looking. Okay, so what color is it? It's like tannish brown. Like, yeah. Okay, tannish brown, some reddish colors. And you don't really see that over here on like these typical blocks that are, are around here. These are also very angular. This is exceptionally well rounded, yeah. right? So this must be a visitor from elsewhere. <laughs> Bedload? Remember Bedload? The big stuff that rolls along the bottom of the river? All right, this would be a piece of Bedload. There's no way a flood could pick that up and bring it up here. I mean, that, that is a really huge, big, heavy boulder. So in order for this thing to move, it's got to be rolling along the bottom as Bedload. Um, and that was moving when this was the bottom of the Potomac River. Now, of course, the Potomac has cut into a deeper level since then, but um, that, that doesn't matter as far as this guy's concerned. He was moving when this was the bottom. Now the bottom's gone, and he's stuck, right? He's not going to move anywhere for a long time, because that's a big, heavy boulder. Let's check it out, too. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that is. Really shiny. It's got a real metallic luster to it. This is fine. Wait a second. No, 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 no. Um, Good. The entire West Coast isn't there. Alaska's not there. Florida is still attached to Africa at this point. So, yeah, North America is missing a lot of the pieces that it has today. Our story today is how those pieces got there. All right. So, we want to look at the rocks today and trying to deduce the geologic history of North America. So, you notice that there's an ocean off to the east, all right, that's called the Iapetus Ocean. The Iapetus Ocean existed before the Atlantic Ocean, right? The Atlantic Ocean, of course, formed when what major supercontinent broke apart? Pangea. Pangea. 